judgment's appointed unto man once to die. And after this comes the judgment. Jesus said, unless you repent, God will likewise perish. And they didn't like to hear that in his day either. But now, God has commanded all men everywhere to repent. Hell awaits, folks, and if you don't repent, there's hell to pay. And Jesus Christ said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. People today, how they solve their problem is not just shooting one another, they take off. A car, cars are lethal weapons. Yesterday, I read, this morning, I read the paper. A man killed somebody on a, an Amish couple on their buggy. Killed a horse and killed a woman. Because people today are in a hurry to go nowhere. That's what's going on today. People are indifferent. Just like most of you today, you could care less about what God thinks. But God's gonna, you're gonna stand before God and give an account, folks. And then we're not gonna judge you, but God is gonna judge you. God is gonna turn the wicked into hell. All the nations that forget God, you better wake up and says, awake to righteousness. You sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame, but there is no shame today. They don't even know how to blush. They're going to fall among all those the wicked as God's going to turn them into hell. God is angry with the wicked every day. He hates the workers of iniquity. Jesus said, Unless you repent, you all will likewise perish. He said, As it was in the days of Lot. They bought, they sold, they planted, they built it until Lot went out of Sodom. It rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. So shall it be in the day of the coming of the Son of Man. That's talking about sodomy, folks. When Jesus Christ comes back, it's going to be the same way all over the world. But in the beginning, God created them male and female. For this cause, a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. Two shall become one flesh. And now, today, they're not ashamed. You can't change your gender. You try to. But God created you a man, then be a man. God created you a female, then be a female, a woman. But you know, people today want to rebel against God. God created you to for his good pleasure, not for your pleasure.